Here's another example of solving a ratio problem using a tape diagram. We're going to set it up using a part-to-part -part ratio, but you could solve it in many different ways. Be sure you watch this a couple of times, take some notes, write down any questions you have, and bring them to class tomorrow. Let's get started. Here's an example of a word problem we can solve by finding equivalent ratios. A county superintendent of highways, that's a person in charge of all the highways in a county, is interested in the number of different types of vehicles that regularly travel within his county. In the month of August, a total of 192 registrations were purchased for passenger cars and pickup trucks at the local Department of Motor Vehicles. It's the name of the DMV. The DMV reported that in the month of August, for every five passenger cars registered, there were seven pickup trucks registered. How many of each type of vehicle were registered in the county in the month of August? So this problem has a lot of information in it. We do know that there are a total of 192 registrations were purchased for passenger cars and pickup trucks. So if we add all the passenger cars and all the pickup trucks together, it's going to be 192. We also know that in the month of August, for every five passenger cars, there were seven pickup trucks. So we have the ratio of five to seven. Let me write that ratio down. The five represents the number of passenger cars. So this is passenger cars. The seven represents the number of pickup trucks. We also know that there are a total of 192 vehicles. If we add 5 and 7 together, it doesn't equal 192. So we need an equivalent ratio that when the two parts are added together, they equal 192. We can look at some different types of ratios we can create using this information. One ratio that we can create is 5 to 7. This is a part and a part. So 5 to 7. That's a part-to-part -part ratio. A part-to-part -part ratio is a ratio where the two pieces represent parts of the whole. If we add 5 and 7 together, we get 12. So another ratio is 5 to 12. That's what we call a part-to-whole ratio, because 12 is the whole amount. 5 is a part. Another ratio we could make is 7 to 12. That's also a part to whole ratio. This ratio compares the cars to trucks. This ratio compares the cars to the total vehicles. This ratio compares the trucks to total vehicles. Each one of them is a real ratio for this problem. We're going to have to figure out which one we want to use in order to solve it. Let's use the ratio 5 to 7 to solve this problem. We're going to use a part-to-part -part ratio. If I'm going to draw a tape diagram for this, I need to compare the number of cars to the number of trucks. The ratio for cars to trucks is 5 to 7. So I need 5 squares in my tape diagram for cars, and 7 
for trucks. Now remember, each square represents the same amount, and you want to try to make them roughly the same size. Now, all together, I have the total number of vehicles, my cars plus my trucks equals my total. And in this case, I have 12 squares. Okay. But in the problem, it told me there were 192 total vehicles. In my tape diagram, I have 12 total squares. That's going to represent the 192 total vehicles. I need to figure out how many vehicles is represented by each square. I'm going to do that by dividing my total number of vehicles by my total number of squares. When I do that, I'm going to get 16. 192 divided by 12 is 16. That means each one of my squares represents 16 vehicles, so I can write a 16 in each square. Each line in a tape diagram is the sum of the amounts in each square. So the total number of cars is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 16, or 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16. So 5 times 16, and that's going to equal 80 cars. And the total number of trucks, there are 7 squares, so 7 times 16, that's going to equal 112 trucks. So I've used this ratio and this piece of information to find the number of cars and the number of trucks. The ratio of cars to trucks was 5 to 7. That gave me a total of 12 squares. The total number of vehicles was 192. I divided that by 12, because there are 12 total squares, to get 16 in each square. Then I used that information to find the total number of cars. 5 squares times 16 equals 80. And the total number of trucks, 7 squares times 16 equals 112. And now I know my answer. Well. That's one way to solve this problem. We could have used other tools to solve this problem. We could have used a table. We could have used different tape diagrams. We could have even used equivalent ratios. The method you choose to solve the problem really depends on what you're comfortable with and what information is available in the problem. We knew the total number of vehicles, so that's why I chose a tape diagram the way I did. If we had known the total number of cars, that would have changed it a little bit. When you look at a problem, think about the method you're going to solve it with. It will help you figure out how to set it up. Well, make sure you watch this again, write down any questions you have, bring them to class tomorrow, finish out your homework for tonight, and we'll talk about this more and practice it tomorrow in class. Have a good night.